We're going to bring in David Whelan. He is Paul's brother. David, good morning to you. Uh, thank you for being here. Just let's begin with your, your reaction to the news. It's great news. Uh, anytime an American comes home is, uh, is yeah. wonderful news. I'm, I'm so glad for Brittany and for Sherelle. It's, uh, it's, it's a wonderful day. Paul has been held for four years. And the last I read and heard from you about a week ago, he was in a Russian hospital. Um, the president said he's talked to you, as I understand, yesterday. Can you share what you can with us in terms of this administration's efforts to get your brother home? Someone from the White House let us know, which was very kind. Uh, it, it's hard to process this in real time, which is what we had to do last April when Paul was left behind before and uh, Trevor Reed came home. And uh, it's a great day for the families of the wrongfully detained, and, and we feel wonderful for them. Um, but we do we do worry about what's uh, what's in Paul's future. I think it's become clear that the U.S. doesn't have any concessions that the Russian government wants for Paul, and uh, so I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what the future holds. Yeah. Listen, I, I imagine it is a bittersweet. I don't know if that's a right term because you're happy for Brittany Griner's family for her wife and for all involved. You said it's a good day for people who are wrongfully detained, but then your, your brother is still there. So how do you navigate that? What, what do you think moving forward your conversations with the administration and those who are involved in trying to get your brother home? Where does that go from here? It's the same thing we've been doing every day for the last, what, 440 days. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I, we heard the news yesterday. I prepared my media statement to go out this morning and we were back to back to work, uh, you know, checking Russian media, looking for uh, options that we could send on to the U.S. government, suggestions. Uh, but really, you know, it's it's a matter of helping Paul to survive until and if the U.S. government is able to find a concession that the Russian government wants. And uh, um, it, it's not magic. It's just a ton of work. And David, you heard the president say, for reasons he says are totally illegitimate, Russia is not treating the release of your brother the same as Bernie Griner. Did anyone from the administration tell you what they believe those reasons are? It's not clear to me uh, what it is. It's probably something to do with parity. Uh, Russians are, well, I shouldn't say Russians. The Kremlin is particularly focused, <clears throat> excuse me, on parity, on getting e e equal things. And so if they, 